it's, um, I guess, an origin story, uh, one that's kind of different or very different from the ones that we've seen in terms of uh, finding this island and realizing there was a whole species of this animal and other animals that are kind of uh, very different than any other animals we've seen, definitely bigger. Uh, and being able to sort of trace a history of um, a whole, I guess, ecosystem that was very different than any ecosystem that we've seen in any of the other Kong movies. It's just another imagining of King Kong and what that is and what his journey's been from where he came from and what he had to overcome or the things that he was battling in his birthplace to stay alive and to keep the people alive around and what his place is as a guardian of the of humanity I guess. I like because I went to see it when I was a kid and it was a great story and it was an adventure and but it was in the city you know and he was on buildings that I could recognize and swatting down planes and he had a little bitty woman in his hand. Uh, and it was, it was high adventure for us. So when I had an opportunity to do it, it was like, okay, this should be fun, especially if we're gonna be in a place that's his origin. So it combines a lot of the elements that you know kids like. It's a high adventure story in a jungle, in an unknown place with you know, not just Kong, but other things that might kill you. So it was kind of you know, tempting to get in there and do that. I just like the fact that Packer's a warrior who's um, very loyal to uh, his men. Uh, he does have a huge resentment um, because, you know, Kong is killing his men. So it becomes his mission. So in my mind, he became, you know, I became Ahab. He was my white whale, you know, so that was the, you know, uh, driving force for me. So did you like that video? Well, I have some interesting movie extras facts for you. Matte paintings were extremely popular before the CGI era. These are actual projections or paintings placed behind foreground objects to trick audiences into believing the actors were in a different location. Examples include the Statue of Liberty jutting out from the sand in Planet of the Apes from 1968 and the Emerald City awaiting Dorothy at the end of the Yellow Brick Road in The Wizard of Oz from 1939. Subscribe to our channel and check the notification bell to always be up to date with all the latest releases.